interrupt you one, one second, Mark, here. Is this, is this the plane we're looking at right now? Anybody in the booth? This is the plane. This apparently is the plane, so it is about to land. Let's listen to Ralph Rayburn. Okay, so this is right. the MB-80. It is flight 862, 132 people on board. For those who just joined us, it has a problem with the nose gear. We've been talking now for the past 45 minutes about this flight. It's been burning off as much fuel as possible, and our understanding is it is now ready to come in and land on runway 26 left. 132 people on board. It was it was supposed to go from West Palm Beach to yeah. Chicago. It was diverted after the pilot called in saying they did have a problem with the nose gear, and it was sent down to Miami International Airport, where it is now set to land. It was set down there, as we have told you repeatedly, because of the emergency services, the vast emergency services they have. Yes, sir. And here comes flight 862 landing on runway 20. Uh, yes. Six left. Uh, it, it is on the runway. That's as much I can tell you. Anything you can add while this plane's coming in? Yeah, Trace, I actually do want to add one really quick thing. We're picking your report that the cockpit light is indicating and the landing gear is down and locked. That is a good sign. We're working to confirm that, but the report is that the cockpit light indicates that the landing gear is down and it is locked. And we'll lock it That's definitely a true, that, that definitely looks like the one we saw earlier. Yep. The landing gear's down, the landing gear's locked. And as we said, the plane will feather as much as possible and touch down. We can see kind of something. Right. The back wheels appear to be down. Like it held to me. Wow. So again, we have a round of applause here in the news and the pilots did a spectacular job. We've kind of gone over this again. We, 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 we do this because it's the unknown. We have no idea what's happening. They called it with a nose gear problem and it wow. turns out to be an absolutely perfect landing, very routine. If you watched it with us, um, Peter Gomez, the former managing director of the NTSB, Peter, this thing was as good as it gets. That landing was just perfect. He kept his nose off the runway for the last possible second, and then touched it down in as light a way as possible. Uh, I am sure uh, that everybody on board is going to be thankful to the uh, to the pilot, the co-pilot. Yeah, you can imagine. I mean, the people on board, there are 132 people. You think the newsroom had a, had a round of applause. Can you imagine what was happening on board that flight? Uh, 132 people, the co-pilot, the pilot, and, and the flight crew, very, very happy this plane is down now. And, and again, we're kind of looking at the landing gear, and, and there was something that looked like it was kind of dragging off it, but it, but it really was. It was flawless. There was no problem. And right now, Peter, is, as, they, as they assess this plane, is the object to get the people off it as fast as possible, or is there just such lack of concern they can kind of go back to their to what they would normally do? Well, they're going to check and see, see whether there's any indication of fire, any indication of anything wrong, uh, and then, then they will get the, uh, the passengers off uh, in an orderly fashion. There's, there's no reason for an emergency evacuation at this point. And yeah. I'm sure uh, with, with the plane down, uh, they're, they're not going to taxi it anyway. They'll bring out mobile stairs, they'll get the passengers off in an in a orderly fashion. Mm, yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened. So the plane is now down. 132 people are, are safe. The pilot, the co-pilot, a magnificent job. Tim gone. Anything we can add to what's going on here? No, it's just, you know, it's just trying to call the authorities, call the airport to see what they've been able to figure out since it's on the ground. You know, it's going to take a while. Uh, we're asking about what, what's next to those passengers, uh, when they're going to be able to get off the plane. Just trying to figure out exactly what happened. It seems like they're anxious. Yeah, and again, just so people know, we've been watching here, if you just joined us, this is flight 862. It was supposed to be headed towards Chicago right now. It took off from West Palm Beach at uh, 1.56 East Coast time. So uh, we're now looking at, uh, at almost two hours. It should be close to the Chicago area. So the people who are waiting for this flight, it's now in Miami. But at least the good news is everybody's fine. Now the object is to find out what's wrong with the plane and try and shuffle those people onto another flight and get them up to Chicago as quickly as possible.
The flight is in. Everything's great. And we move on to other news coming up.